Greetings and welcome to the graphics class. Today we are discussing question number 9 of development of surfaces. A conical hill has a base diameter of 50 meter and height 70 meter. An elephant starts from a point on the base, circumambulates and returns to the same point. Draw the shortest path traced by the elephant both on front and top views. The dimensions of this particular problem, if you check you can see that the base diameter is 50 meter and height is 70 meter. You cannot draw that on a sheet on which you are drawing. So you have to go for scale. The dimensions given are again I am uh, repeating that is base diameter 50 meter and height 70 meter. Since we cannot directly use this, you have to go for scale. First of all, you have to find out scale. In the first class, I have mentioned about scale. What is the relation for finding a particular scale for any drawing? It is drawing dimension by actual dimension by the actual dimension. Actual dimension. Here, the drawing you take the first dimension that is the diameter. The how we can draw that? If it is 50 mm, you can draw that. So the drawing dimension is 50 mm. Since I am going to uh, write all the dimensions in millimeter, I am not writing mm there. Now the actual dimension is 50 meter. I am converting 50 meter into millimeter that is 50 into 10 raised to 3 millimeter. Now you will see that you will get this as 1 by 1000, 1 by 10 raised to 3 or 1 by 1000. So you can write it as 1 is to 1000 which is the scale. Now how can you take the second dimension? The second dimension height can be taken as say the actual dimension is 70. So the scale is 1 is to 100, 1 is to 1000 which is drawing dimension. In, in that case you can find out the drawing dimension. Say DD may be the drawing dimension divided by actual dimension. Actual dimension is 70 into 10 raised to 3. If you calculate this you will get DD as DD as 70 mm. You will get DD as 70 mm. So here you have found out scale for a particular dimension. Using that dimension you are using that scale you are finding the drawing dimensions of the remaining dimensions. That is what we are doing uh, after finding the scale. You know how to draw the top view and the front view. Many times we have drawn this. So now I am going to the development. Why I am going for the development? Because in the question it is given that an elephant starts moving from a point on the base and returns to the same point after circumambulating. So now we have to draw the full development then only we will get the shortest path. How to draw the development? To get the development of a cone, first of all you have to find out theta. As last last day we have seen, theta is equal to 360 into small r by 2x. So here you know what is the what is small r here? Small r is equal to the radius of the base and true length is the true length of the generator.
So either you can take O dash A dash or O dash A dash as the true length of the generator. Here I have taken O dash A dash as the true length of the generator. When you calculate this, you will get some angle. Using that angle, first of all, you fix O as the vertex. After taking vertex, you can have the true length as radius. You can take this true length as radius. So this corresponds to true length. Then you can have theta. Already you have calculated theta. That theta you can utilize and measure based on this. You will have the included angle of the or subtended angle of the sector. Now we can divide this into eight equal parts. You know by the principle of angular bisectors, you can divide this. I am not repeating that. So eight equal parts you will get. So here you are having OA, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, again A. Now the next step is how to get the shortest path. As we know, any shortest path will be a straight line. So the Elephant starts moving from a point on the base, let it be A. It starts moving from point A, circumambulates and returns to A. So it is a shortest path from A to A. It's a straight line from A to A. So I have drawn that straight line. So the initial point I am marking as 1. Along OB, I am getting point 2, OC, it is 3, OD, 4, like this, 5, 6, 7, and 8, I am getting along OE, OF, OG, and OG, OH. Now, I have to transfer these distances to the front view and top view. Then, I will get the shortest path. This is the shortest path only in the development. I need the shortest path both in top front view and top view. First, I have to draw it in the front view. How to do, do that? Definitely, the point from where the elephant moves is actually A dash. That I am marking as 1 dash. Now, along O2 you are having, or 2 is the next point. It is along OB. Even though it is along OB, O2 refers to the true length. So you can measure O2. What is the length of O2? That you can mark here. So from here you can draw a projector which will pass through O dash V dash or intersect O dash V dash. So that will be 2 dash. Now point 3 is along OC. Again you have to take the true length, mark it along the true length line and you have to transfer the distance. So you are getting 3 dash. Now along 4 OD you will get 4. So this corresponds to 4 dash. Now you need the midpoint that is 5. 5 will be along here that is 5 dash. Now it is very simple because at the same level of 4 you will get 6. If you measure exactly you will get that at the same level. So 4 dash and 6 dash will be the same point. Similarly 7 dash will be along 3 dash. Then along 2 dash you will get 8 dash. Okay. Now you will get a curve passing through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I am going to draw that. 
वन डैश टू डैश थ्री डैश फोर डैश एंड फाइव डैश आफ्टर फाइव डैश अगेन इट इज कमिंग बैक टू सिक्स डैश सेवन डैश एट डैश एंड वन डैश सो ऑफ दीज पॉइंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव all these are going to the rear side going through the rear side of the cord then it is rotating and coming back through say 6 7 and 8 again it is reaching one they are the point in the front so since both are overlap the hidden points as well as the visible points are overlapping we are drawing the visible line now we have to transfer this to the top view also again one will be at point a itself 2 and 8 2 will be along ob 3 we will do later 4 will be along od 5 will be along oe 5 then 6 will be along of 7 we will do later 8 will be along oh what about uh, 3 and 7 You can transfer this point to here. That is along O dash E dash. The same point you can transfer towards here. So here you are getting a particular point. Now you can take O as the center. Ah, uh, this point I am marking as X. This O X as radius. I am drawing an arc towards here. So this corresponds to three. From again O X as radius and rotating that. I am getting rotating an arc. I am getting it along OG. That corresponds to seven. Now I can join one, two, two to three, three to four, four to five, four to five, five to six, six to seven. Sorry, six to seven. Then seven to eight. And eight to one. I will get a smooth curve passing through all these points. So it should be a smooth curve. It should be a smooth curve. So what are the things we have drawn? First, we have drawn the top view. Then we have drawn the front view. Then we drawn the development based on the calculation of theta. Then we have taken the shortest path of the elephant from A to A. Then we have drawn all these. Ah, it distances to the true length line. Then we have transferred to corresponding points. After getting the front view, we have drawn the projectors from all these points, say one to eight, and got the closed curve, which is the shortest path of the elephant in the top view. I think now it is clear to you. We can practice this. Thank you.